welcome. This is the public service. How are you doing? Just said you needed to check in, so that's what I'm doing, checking in. Yes. Are you? That's what it said on the door. You needed to check in. What you check in? Where are you going? Oh, uh, I'm gonna take a tour of the building. You, you, you're more than welcome to. Uh, to, to Don't to need to check in. All right. Appreciate it. Um. Yeah, I'm. To do to walk around the public building. Yes. So we'll check your driver's license and then we'll give you a pass to do that. Um, let me. Yeah, let's okay. let's do that first. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Have a have a seat. Yeah, I'll stand here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if you can just sign for me, swear on your dick. Okay. What, what, what are you saying? I'm sorry. Oh, you signed for me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you swear. Yes. And affirm. <laughs> I like this guy right there. He's a good guy. Yeah. Sir, can I just go to the other side of the desk here and look at what's in this sure. case? Appreciate that. Somebody's coming. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to take your camera. Thank you, sir. Realistically, I'm, this is the worst side to be on since I'm taping your security cameras and just being real. Well, I'm, I'm not going to sit down. Okay, that's fine. How long has that been the, uh, the policy? What's that? Asking for everybody's ID to come into a public building. Um, that's, uh, that's all explained right, right there. It's, it's not required to walk into the building, but, but if, if you want to go anywhere outside the lobby area and everything, in the secured areas, then... Okay, you know, I'm not asking to go anywhere secured. Okay. Yeah, shouldn't yeah. be a problem. Do, do you want to... You can walk in this area here. Yeah, I, I want to okay. go everywhere that doesn't have key card access and that the public is allowed to go. Uh, well, that's, that's the, basically the, right. the lobby. Well, and I mean, I can go up those stairs clearly. See? That way you the just the, the right sign up. tells you you have to check in here, which means you'll have to show, show your ID. Yeah, all due respect, this is a public building. It public doesn't building. mean that everything in the building is... That's right. And those is, those areas are... You know, or indicating like that right there on the stairs. But that's a sign. There's not a law that says that that's closed to the public. I mean, can you appreciate? You're asking me to I, I'm to not surrender my you. Fourth I'm Amendment rights to enter you. a public building. Can you can you appreciate that? I certainly can. I, okay. I understand. I understand. So, am I waiting for somebody? Is that what's going so, on here? Yeah, somebody's coming over. Okay. So, I'm, I'm, but I'm a like I say, shocked. you're more than welcome to to. To video or, or walk any part of the area that's 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 not secured. Okay. At the Department of Public Safety, what what goes on up there? That's the fire department. All right. So can a member of the public go up there and do a freedom of information Once they request? check in here, yes. Right. Let's just say I'm checking in, but I, I refuse to give my name because I'm an American citizen and I have Fourth Amendment rights. Do you rights. need to talk? If you need to talk to somebody up there, I'll get them get them down here. Do you treat every member of the public to? like this? Do you make every member of the public surrender their Fourth Amendment rights to come into the building? 
That's what you're asking me to do right now. You're, this is policy. Violate people's... Vi are you guys constitutional officers? Are you a constitutional no, deputy? No, I am not. Are you a law I'm enforcement civilian. officer? I'm a civilian. Okay, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. You too. How's it going? Happy. How are you? Happy birthday. Better than I deserve, how about you? Good. Uh, I'm Sergeant Lugay. Feel free to video record anywhere where you can be publicly. Okay. Um, we ask that nobody go upstairs because upstairs is part of the offices as well as everything behind the secured section. Okay, where, is there a sheriff's office desk that, I mean, what's upstairs that I can't go to? Well, they're just all private offices. But uh, isn't that designated by like key card access? Uh, yes. So I mean, I'm not I'm not asking to go well, anywhere that has key like, card access. Well, what we can do is, um, I would say what we couldn't do is because the way this building has been designed, we've changed our security procedures since the building was originally designed. So they decided against putting key card access in doors. So has that been codified in law? The change. It's not a law, it's just the design of the building, the way we've done and the way we've utilized office spaces. Right, so no, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, you mentioned a change. If there's no statutory definition of how a building is used. Okay, so I can go up those, I should be able to go up well, those stairs. there's a sign. Those no, I see the sign. Is there, is there a statute attached to it that there's, says? There's no statute, there's no statute attached to it. There's no statutory regulation on how buildings are used. Right. So there's, you're not going to find a statute on what areas of buildings are public and what areas are private. That's because the public, I mean, absent that sign, which I, I understand, I'm not arguing about the sign, I'm arguing about the fact that it's open to the public. You guys put a sign there, but that doesn't close it to the public. Key card access closes it to the public. This is a public building. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to engage with you. Well, I mean, it, isn't it your job to engage with a concerned citizen? I'm concerned about this. You're not going to engage? I thought you came down here to engage. So I just came here to see if you need anything, if there's anything. I need anything something. I need, something. I need to go up the stairs. I want to be unmolested from my government. That's what I want. Okay. I have a right to go up the stairs. The FedEx guy didn't check in and give his ID. He's allowed to walk up the stairs. You need to go to Is the fire he special? Department. You need to go to the fire department, sir. Is my business your business? I yes, I need to go to the fire department. Can I go up the stairs without giving, my, giving up my Fourth Amendment rights? Uh, you can go to this door right there, first door on the left, sir. All right, I'm going to go as far as key card access will allow me to go. If you'd like to accompany me, I'm not trying to make a big deal, but you guys are asking me to surrender my Fourth Amendment rights to enter a public building. It's outrageous. And I don't want to upset him on his birthday, but I'm just being real. You know what I mean? Oh, sorry, we just, if you need to go to the fire department, it's with that door right there. Okay. Like, uh, everything on this side is the sheriff's office, and those are private offices. Okay. And that's all indicated by key card access, right? It's a yes or a no. It either is or it isn't. I'm just asking a question. If it's no, say no. If it's I don't know, no say I don't know. Access to go beyond that point. That's why we're here. Okay. okay. We ask them. You're not on camera. All right. Well, You're don't step in front to of the camera. Then. And be anywhere in a publicly accessible areas. Okay. The fire department side, right there, the door is accessible okay. and open to the public. Okay. However, sands. There is no physical barrier. But okay, that's that's the, okay. That's the question that I'm asking. Yeah, there's no physical okay. barrier. Okay. That's why we just ask that people do not go back there because okay. we're going to ask you to leave the area. Okay. So you're so asking. Problems. You're asking. You're no. politely asking. Yeah. I mean, just that you don't go beyond that point. Okay. But I just want to be clear. You're politely asking. You're not saying that I can't go there as a matter of law. I'm not saying I, I'm not going to respect your wishes. I'm just saying, you know, I don't want to be told not to do something that I'm allowed to do. You know what I? I don't appreciate I don't appreciate the eye rolls, man. 
We can either engage and have a conversation or we can't. Okay. I want to have a conversation. Sir, you're free to travel anywhere around these areas. If you need to go to the uh, fire department, administration, okay. that is right there, it's accessible. And is there anything else that I can help you with? Yeah. Uh, could you pronounce your name? Sergeant Lugay. Lugay. Yes, sir. Uh, Here, I'll, I'll actually provide you with my card. I appreciate that, Sergeant. That's quite right. Sergeant, are, are you guys. I know your, job, your job is to come here and challenge us to the constitutionality of things. I, I understand that that's what you want to do. But we're not here to make anyone's life difficult. We're not here to infringe upon your rights. We're here to help you out. Well, that's good. That's good. I, I don't want my rights infringed upon. And I'm not here. I'm not here to, to catch you. I'm not here to confront anybody. I'm just here to have my rights respected. That's it. That's it. And I should be able to do that as an American. Are you guys constitutional deputies? We are, the Sheriff's Office is de delineated by the Florida State Constitution. So he is a constitutional officer. He deputizes us and gives us the authority that we have through him. Okay. You know, the First Amendment of the Constitution, it secures five fundamental freedoms to, to we the people. Do you know what those five freedoms are? Sir, I thank you very much. Please feel free to come over here. Um, Deputy, Deputy, Deputy Lugay, Deputy Lugay, uh, don't disengage with me so. in the middle of a conversation. It's not going to look good. It's, it's right, sir. I, I'm not okay, okay. You understand my question? If you don't know, have the humility to say, sir, I don't know. That's okay. Free speech, the right to assemble, and freedom of speech, of the press. Okay, freedom of religion and the right to petition your government for the redress of grievances. Those are five. But okay, that's, I'm, that's what sir, I'm saying. I'm what not, I'm not here for is to be quizzed by you on my knowledge of everything. I, I was asking a question. I asked if you were a constitutional deputy, and I asked you if you knew what the well, First Amendment was. It's important. You're confusing also the state constitution, which is... Did you swear an oath to the Constitution of the United States of America? Answer. Then it's not It's not any different. This, the sheriff derives his authority from the floor state Sir, constitution. did you swear not an oath States. to the Constitution of the United States of America? Thank you very much for your time. Please feel free. If you have any Thank questions, you. I'm here. But, but you're not, because you just you just said that you weren't. You said I'm not going to talk to you. If you have any questions that you don't want to answer, you're not going to answer. You, with public safety, you can with see how a situation where we could have just been kind to each other. Sir, I am being kind to you. I'm you walking away in the middle of a, a question and telling me that you're not going to answer it, that is not being kind. That is not serving the community. Happy birthday, Deputy. Hey, How are you? I'm doing excellent. How about yourself? Yeah, I'm not gonna help you. Um, I was just wondering what the process was for filing a public records request for you guys. Okay, as do you need like an EMS report, a fire report? Um, what are you looking for? Let's just say I wanted to understand the process better for trying to get public records from the fire department. As far as you're looking for, let's say it was anything, anything. Let's say uh, the operations manual. Your your operations manual. Okay, so you want to know what the process is to get yes. it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I can take your information and, you know, we can get back with you. You, you would need to make an official request. That's that's what I'm getting at. Is do, is there a specific piece of paper that that needs you to be on? You can email. Okay. Um, do you, sorry, they, they got me really worked up downstairs and I'm trying to calm down. Is there something I can do to help you? <laughs> um, no, uh, fire departments are usually really great, so they, 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 they try not to work the people up from my experience. Okay. It's a little different with the, the sheriffs, and I'm not sure why. Okay, so what specifically are you looking for? Uh, a roster of all active uh, firefighters and, and identification numbers, cool. if they have an identification number. And what is this being used for? Uh, it's a, just a public records request. Just a member of the public. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna switch this around. I'm gonna give you my email, and you can and I'll. 
I'll have you send an email of exactly what you're looking for. Okay. And then if it's something that we can release, we will. And if it's something that has to get through our county attorney. Yeah, will, I mean, so. it's public property. It shouldn't have to, but I well, appreciate Well, not name, not, name. well. And what was your name? I'm sorry. Christy. Christy, with the K, right? Mm-hmm. You got to tell me your last name. Mero K. Mero K. All right. All Thank right. You. I appreciate you taking All the time. Have a great day. You as well. Is that Deputy Lugay? Do you have a moment for another question? Just the roster of all active duty firefighters and if they have an identification number associated with their employment. Officers have an ID number or a badge number. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I got a question. Yes, sir. So I went up there and everything on the left hand side is, is marked with key card access. So it's, it's a non issue. Is it the same on the other side of this hall? We have, we have designated that area restricted access. But you so, guys can't just do that. That has well, to be codified in law. This is, is a, not, sir. This is a public building. Can you get your supervisor? This is a public building, sir. Okay, sir. Can you get your supervisor? I've, I've already consulted our legal. Can I you have, get your supervisor, please? I'm requesting a supervisor. Could you I am please a supervisor. Get, I know, but you don't know the law is the problem. Okay. You're, you're, a, are you a, you're a sergeant? I'm a sergeant. You're a sergeant, yes, sergeant. and you're telling me that in a public building, that I can't yes. go somewhere that I can't. You can, but you need to check in, be escorted, and to whatever destination you're so, on. Right so to. everybody needs to check in and be escorted. Because I've seen people that didn't check in and that weren't escorted. So okay. there's there's rules for some people and not rules for other people. Do you no, the, can you see the disconnect? Yes, employees have free access to the building. The FedEx guy is an employee? The FedEx guy comes in here every day and he's I, bringing a package to the FD side. The fire department. Did he give his ID? So if I put a so if I put a FedEx suit on, I can just walk into this building. No issues. If yeah. you're if we know you and you're the guy that comes in every day, we will allow you free access to deliver the package to. The this is not a good look for you guys. That's fine. It's not this, fine. This is, it's sir. not. That's the problem. Okay. It's not fine. You're okay. okay with it because there's no accountability for you. You don't give a shit. That's the problem. Sir, if you have a question related to anything that we can do for you, as have you not heard me talking? No. I'm asking questions. So you are free to access I'm not any free. public I'm not area free is the problem. The building, that is a public that area. That is a restricted area. Do you want me to show you what designates something restricted area? See this right here? No, sir. See that right there? That's restricted. Do you have a statute that defines that as such? Do I? Yeah, it's a trespassing statute. It wouldn't... I'm not anywhere the public isn't allowed. So you're telling I'm you're telling me that I need to tell you the law? I'm standing somewhere the public's allowed. So if I'm standing up there, I'm not going to engage in a dialogue. Please of course not. You consult your attorney on any statute. Of course not. Of course, it's a great look. It's a great um, look. My name is Sergeant Greg Lugay, yep. County It's Sheriff. a great look for you guys. If you need anything, please feel free. I did need something. Now, I did need something. Welcome. You're welcome. I did need something, Anywhere and I asked for your supervisor, and you didn't give a shit. I will. I will notify my supervisor. What are you going to notify? Now you're going to notify him. So am I waiting for the supervisor or not? Is there anything that I can help you with first? Yes. Is, Let me be clear. You, I would like to speak with your supervisor. Is that is that clear enough? I understand. Man, I came in here wanting to be nice to everybody in the building. Sir. Shit, man. 
You care a lot, I so can tell. Please feel free, grab a seat, and I will speak I'm not going to sit down. I'm not going to sit down. Okay. If you'd like, I can also provide you with a professional standards complaint form if you feel that like I would like that. My job. Yes. Please, thank you. I don't understand what the issue is, man. What's the issue? Like, you let me go up there, but just so because I have, that... I have explained to you. I know you're explaining, times. but but I'm it's speaking not going again. to change the answer. You're badgering me. It's not going to change the I'm badgering you now? Okay, man. I'm badgering you, I guess. How dare you communicate with a deputy of the Seminole County Sheriff's? So How dare I'm I? I'm here to assist you. In you're not. You just told me that I was badgering no, you. No, I'm not going to... Here, sir. I just need the form, man. I'm not gonna. Oh. I'm not gonna fill it out here Ooh, under this oppression. Right. You hit off my card, and it's sorry, Greg Lugay. Okay. Um, the process for doing it, you can mail it in if you so wish. But the typical process is to come in here, a supervisor will receive it, and it will get forwarded to the Professional Standards Division for investigation. Is there an office of Professional Standards? Yes, sir. There is. Where's that at? That is located within. That's in this building? Yes, sir. Where? Upstairs? It's downstairs. D downstairs? Yes, the offices are within. Professional standards offices are located okay. within the security area. Within the security area? Yes, sir. Right. Would you like me to um, call? You've given me my avenue, you? and I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be a dick, you know? Sir, I'm just, I'm trying to I know, but you, can, you, can you appreciate, can you appreciate where I'm coming from? Or do you not see it at all? Sir, I'm here to try and help you out, and I'll do whatever okay. I can to help you out and assist you. Okay. However, can you appreciate what I'm saying? Can you appreciate what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, sir. Okay. Is that a yeah? Is that an, an, an acknowledgement that can, you can appreciate sir, can what I'm saying? I can appreciate your concerns. All right, Deputy, can, can you come up here and just can you accompany me up the stairs and let me show you something? I will entertain this. Thank you. I appreciate that. I assume that that side of the hallway is no different than this side of the hallway. Actually, it's not really the hallway, it's that... This is a hallway. This is the public Sir, display. this is the hallway. Yes, sir. Okay. See this? Yes, sir. This is key card access. That makes that a restricted area. I'm free to be here. That has been designated as a restricted area. You've designated it that. Yes, sir. But I bet if we walk down that hallway, everything that is designated by key card access, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Some are, some are not. The ones that are not, what are those offices? They're all private offices. Sir, can you take me down that hallway? I'm not gonna surrender my Fourth Amendment rights. Sir? Please? Do you have an appointment with anyone down there? Do I need an appointment to yes, enter sir. a public building? No, sir, you do not. All so you're, you're not, you, we, we can't just go down the hallway. You can't just bridge the gap a little bit with the community. That's a restricted area. Doesn't look restricted to me. Sir, can we please return to the public area? Am I not allowed to be here either? Sir, can we please return to the publicly accessible? Didn't you already acknowledge that this was a public area? Sir, I'm going to ask you. You see, you're, you're, I'm asking questions and you don't answer. It's a problem. We're done here. Now we're done? No, we're done? Because you said so? Yes, sir. We're done because you I said so. I need to further communicate with you unless you have a law enforcement request. Okay, my, my question's valid. My question's valid, man. I, I don't, I don't, I don't see what the problem is. And the, 